When we started One Laptop Per Child, which is now four years ago, it was not the beginning of our interest in children and computers and laptops. That really goes back to, so far I'm embarrassed to say, it goes back to 1968. And a lot of us attribute what we're doing to the work of one man who couldn't be here with us tonight, <coughs> named Seymour Papert, who made some very early observations, uh, very simple ones. And that was that children who wrote computer programs could engage in thinking about thinking, which is something none of us really did at school. And that, in fact, when children would write computer programs, and Seymour invented a simple language for children, um, they were involved in debugging, because the programs never worked the first time, and that the act of debugging was a very good approximation of learning about learning. And while that may sound abstract, that's at the core of what we do because we are not an IT project, we're not a laptop project, we're not trying to connect kids to modernity by having them use computers that you and I might use in our office work. Uh, in fact, one of the things that I find very difficult is when I will go to, let me pick Africa, to a remote village and maybe you even have to walk to get to the actual school itself and you find in the school some very entrepreneurial teacher uh, has found some secondhand computers and a generator and the school has the computers in the back of the room and this all looks very encouraging and then you find what the kids are doing at the age of six and seven years old is learning Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Okay, that is criminal. Okay. They do not need to learn things like that. They are not office workers. They need to make things. They need to make music. They need to communicate with other kids. They need to basically be what Seymour calls constructionists. They don't have to learn how to use the IT programs that you and I learn. They're not going into the job market uh, in a few months or in a few years. They have to learn how to learn. And so we had an opportunity with one laptop per child that is very rare. And that is we are able to build something from scratch. We are able to ask ourselves uh, what a child might need and what a situation, particularly in developing countries, might need.